We had a terrible thing happen in Syria over the weekend, CNN explains here. Hours after U.S.-led coalition airstrikes reportedly killed dozens of Syrian troops, the U.S. and Russian ambassadors to the United Nations chastised each other outside an emergency security council meeting. The strike occurred Saturday in an eastern part of Syria. The U.S. military said it was targeting ISIS militants, and if it hit Syrian troops, it was an accident. Russia and Syria said the strikes prove Washington and its allies are sympathetic to ISIS. The Russian military said 62 Syrian soldiers were killed near Deir Azor Airport, according to state media. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Samantha Power angrily denounced the Russian call for the U.N. meeting as a stunt, Power said, quote, Even by Russian standards, tonight's stunt, a stunt replete with moralism and grandstanding, is uniquely cynical and hypocritical. She proceeded to list atrocities she said the Syrian regime has perpetuated during the five-year civil war. Okay, pause, 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 pause. So let me get this straight. <laughs> the United States bombs a Syrian army position, kills at least 62 people, and wounds many more. By the way, numbers go up to over 80 people who are killed. So the U.S. kills Syrian troops. Then when Russia goes, Whoa, whoa, what the fuck are you doing? They go, Oh yeah? Well, let me explain to you the atrocities carried out by those Syrian troops and Assad. So wait, which is it? Is it, Oh, it was an accident! We thought we were targeting ISIS and we killed Syrian troops! Or is it, Oh, but, uh, well, let me explain how bad these guys are. I mean, you want to talk about victim blaming 101? You just killed 62 Syrian soldiers. And they're going to turn around and say, now let me tell you how bad the Syrian soldiers are and how bad Assad is. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? Okay, but this shows you the moral confusion that the U.S. government has in Syria. I don't know if you guys remember the story. It was an incredible story of how CIA armed rebels are fighting Pentagon armed rebels in Syria. So we have different parts of the same government funding different groups in Syria who then fight each other. The official U.S. government position going back a few years now, I don't know if you remember when Obama gave that speech against Assad. The official position was, we got to go after Assad, we got to topple him, he's doing these human rights abuses and all these problems. Then, like, a year goes by, and slowly but surely, the U.S. is like, is anybody looking, bitch? Yeah, anyway, uh, we're going to kind of work with Assad to go after the rebels, because they're worse. Wait, again, so which is it? <laughs> they flip sides in a war. Nobody in the media discussed it. Nobody in the media was like, hey, that's weird. How does that happen? Nobody discussed it. Nobody discussed it. So now what's supposed to happen is in two days, the U.S. and Russia are supposed to actually work together and do joint strikes against ISIS. This is part of a deal that they worked out and there's a ceasefire that's supposedly happening and the main target is going to be ISIS for everybody. That's the deal they worked out. But again, there's still remnants of, being, of people in the U.S. government being anti-Assad and against uh, the Syrian troops who are Assad's troops. So against the government forces. So what some people are saying now, and maybe there's credibility to this, is, well, the U.S. wanted to get in one more strike against Assad's people before there's the joint, you know, working together to try to fight ISIS. But what's the main problem with that? And again, it goes to the heart of the moral confusion in the U.S. over Syria. Those Syrian troops that we massacred were fighting ISIS. Literally, at that time, they're fighting ISIS. And what happened after uh, we bombed them? ISIS overran their position that they were holding. And so this is why Russia turns around and goes, this shows the U.S. is sympathetic to ISIS. Now, obviously, our media here would never look at the nuance that can actually be embedded in that. They just go, ah, yeah, okay, sure. So you're like those crazy conspiracy theorists who say, you know, the U.S. made ISIS. No, but that's not really the argument they're making. The argument they're making is the U.S. has aligned, by and large, throughout the conflict with many of the rebel groups. The rebel groups at this point are overwhelmingly jihadist and Islamist. So, 
Are you sympathetic to jihadist rebels? Yeah, I mean, you fucking armed many of them! There's another story. The FSA, who used to be moderate rebels, the U.S. Uh, came to FSA position, they were gonna help them in a battle. FSA told them, fuck off, get out of here, you American pigs, we hate you, we despise you. So yet again, we're doing the same thing that Reagan did in Afghanistan against the Soviet Union. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, so I'm gonna arm these Islamic fundamentalists because they're fighting the big bad Soviet Union. To an extent, that's what's happening in Syria. We go, oh, well, Assad is still our enemy to an extent, and the Syrian uh, government is still our enemy to an extent, uh, because he's aligned with Iran and Russia. So, let's go ahead and arm the r moderate rebels. Oh, shit, they turned the weapons on us. Oh, shit, there are no more moderate rebels. Oh, shit, we just bombed uh, Assad's forces. And don't you dare say we're sympathetic to the jihadists and Islamists we just helped and armed. Because that wouldn't be very kosher and nice of you. That wouldn't be... You'd be showing bad manners if you say what we do. Which is, we have aligned with many jihadist rebels, so shut the fuck up. Okay, look. Here's, uh, the position that I think makes the most sense in Syria. Assad is bad. He's done many bad things. I'm no fan of Assad. At this point, the rebels are worse. If Assad falls, Syria becomes Al-Qaeda-stan. The ideas of the rebels matter. When the bulk of your fighting force is ISIS and al-Nusra, which is formerly Al-Qaeda in Syria, well then, the government that falls is gonna be replaced with the vision that they wanna set up. What kind of vision do they wanna set up? Don't take my word for it, take their word for it. They tell you they want an Islamic system set up. So if you wanna create another Saudi Arabia-like system in Syria, okay, then we know exactly what side you're on. And the U.S. is still, at best, just confused in the situation. At worst, more aligned with the jihadist and Islamist rebels. And then still super touchy when people rightly call them out over it. By the way, it's not like I'm a fan of Russian bombings because they kill civilians too, and that's bad, so I'm against that too. But when they say, hey dude, what are you doing? Even if you don't like the Syrian troops, they ain't jihadists. It's not like Syrian troops are gonna come bomb Nebraska, whereas ISIS and Al-Qaeda might. So what are you doing aligning with the wrong people? When you bring that up, Samantha Power gets touchy. Oh yeah, well, let me tell you all the reasons Assad's bad. Shut the fuck up. You just killed Assad's troops. You just killed them, and now you're gonna lecture as to why they're bad. So again, I question whether or not it was really an accident. It might not be an accident. Maybe it was, but maybe it wasn't. So... Uh, we've seen the stories, we know how we armed the wrong people and they went into Syria and immediately gave the weapons to Al-Qaeda in Syria. The list goes on and on of all the faux pas that we've done there. The moderate rebels who beheaded a child and were still not acknowledging the proper policy there. The number one enemy that we can all coalesce around and should coalesce around is ISIS. This is actually an opportunity for the United States and Russia and Syria and Iran and even Turkey and all these governments to say, okay, all of our differences aside, that's the fucking problem. They're the problem. So let's work together and maybe open up a new era of responsibility and cooperation. But every, we, it, it, there's continues attempt, there are continued attempts, excuse me, to sabotage that. And part of it is, again, at worst, our alliance with the terrible rebels, the Islamists and jihadist rebels, and at best, our moral confusion. But there's no good answer as to why the U.S. is acting as it's acting in Syria. It makes no goddamn sense, and it's putting us more in danger.